There was a flight that I was on and I had eaten a farro salad and I was in so much pain. I mean, when I say I looked at the clock, I had three more hours on the flight and I was, tears were streaming down my face because I'm in such excruciating pain and I didn't know what to do. And I said, oh, it must be the gluten and the farro. So I said, I'm never eating that again. And then in November, I had excruciating pain again, like buckled over, can't, can't do anything. And I went to the hospital, they scanned my abdomen with a CT scan. Report came back, everything was unremarkable. So next to each organ, they write unremarkable. Pancreas, unremarkable, spleen, unremarkable. So I went back to life, I started feeling so much better. And then of course, November was the CT scan where they didn't see it. At that time, it was there. It was two centimeters, they missed it. CT scans don't catch things as easily as an MRI would. And then by January, I was at Pranuvo doing the outside facility MRI where they found the, uh, the tumor. And so from there, now I know I have a tumor on my pancreas and it's 100% confirmed. And so the next morning, my husband and I just woke up in the fetal position just bawling because I knew I had a baby on the way. And so I went to see Dr. Tim Donahue at UCLA and he, you know, performed surgery February 16th. He removed the tail of my pancreas, my spleen, 17 lymph nodes. At the same time, I also had a massive fibroid that was growing rapidly, and so they had to take that out. So it was a almost, I think it was 10 hour operation where they just took everything out and pathology came back. Cancer hadn't spread to any of the lymph nodes, thank God. And that's when I knew I was safe. I think early detection for pancreatic cancer is, I mean, an essential, it's a no-brainer because it takes so many lives because by the time people find out they have it, it's so advanced. I wanted to partner with PanCant because I want to help spread awareness and to help people understand that early detection, paying attention to your body and the signals it's giving you, not numbing them, not band-aiding them, really paying attention and going to the doctors and just, you have to keep beating down those doors until you get the scans you need. We don't know the end of the story, but why are we gonna try to predict it either? There's nothing powerful that comes from that. There are people with pancreas cancer that have, are living now with t 10 years with adenocarcinoma. That's why I'm here, is so that people know that. People know that people who have stage four pancreas cancer are still living 10 years in and even more. We need to know that so we have hope.